Here we go again, back with more Pro Cycle Manager Career Mode. This is two of Austria, one of the most exciting races of our calendar this season. And we have one of the strongest teams we can possibly get out. Both Hinao and Kudos, both Kukar and Makohala, our four best riders are all in this race. And they're all in pretty good shape. Kukar is getting better and better right now. Um, we start off at the mount stage and Kudos is actually a pretty good rider at the moment. He has 79, Hinao with 76. So we have a, some pretty strong riders here. Hopefully Kudos can get a top... Uh, placement here on this stage. We need to get a stage win at some point during this uh, stage race to set up both some hill status, some flat status, some mountain status and a time trial. So every type of rider should have a good chance here at getting a win. First of all, I just want to move back and let's check out what we have looked at on the transfer market. And here we have it. Negotiations in progress. We're looking to sign Damien Housen for one year contract, 5,600. He's a great time trial rider. We it's something that I think we really need. Our best rider right now is, is if I remember correctly, Leonard Kemner with 72. And that's pretty, that's not good enough if you want to have a chance of getting stage wins in bigger races. Then Housen can easily do that for us in a couple of years uh, until some of these riders are good enough to take over from him. Marco Hala, I've tried to extend the concept to him. He hasn't replied yet. Neither has my card. I'm pretty worried about them both actually leaving. Be a big hit to our team. But at least allow us to sign other riders. Edgar Wells from my development team is a region. Uh, I have him on my development team already. I would like, would like to sign him on my main team. 69 average already at 19 years old. 69 mountains, 70 hills, 72 time trials. He already looks like a great rider. Sam Omen for is a great puncher. 74 hill as a 19 year old rider is also a great step. And then this young Colombian sprinter here can join our team. Would actually join in as our Second or third best sprinter already as a, as a 20 year old. I've never heard of him before, but he looks like a real rider just based on his picture. 75 sprint, 76 acceleration, and 66 hill. It's all great stats for the rider. Uh, other than that, Cody Court has signed with, I believe, John Alperson. So, one of our best riders in the spring is sadly no longer on our team, our age captain, which means I think Marco Halla is now the oldest rider on our team. Next year, you can see team is, hasn't changed yet since we haven't signed a rider but for now let's get into the first stage which will be i think our first mountain stage of the entire uh, career mode so far let's get it started okay last mountain one of the most exciting mountains of the entire game the two four strat it's so so long so uh, i've looked at the favorite school section the massive favorite the best thing in the sky in the peloton is duarte with 76 mountains uh, that's not that great compared to uh, to where is he? Kudos here with 79. So if you can get a great result going here, we have Hinao as well, who is also a top 5 favorite. So we have two good riders who both have the ability to really do some damage. For now, I think we'll put. Hmm, what should we pick first? Sionelli. Yeah, Sionelli. Put him on 90. And have Liberati just behind him. Just to uh, really ruin this peloton. Everybody behind us here, Kukard and Hala can just relax. Forward back, we don't really care about them here, but it doesn't seem like really so really can get up forward. He does finally find a hole through. And that should signal a start for every rider here. But now it's serious. Now we really have to go and get to the front of the peloton because the mountain has started now. And that's the final risk you're going to get today. I'm thinking about dropping Kemna and putting Hinao to protect Kudos just to have my best rider for as long as possible. Hinao is of course a great rider to have as a helper at this point in the game, or in the race of course. Uh, yeah, I think I think it should do that. Mm. But other than that I can. Also, yeah, Danese is going to drop here, Kemner should drop, and now there is Kudos, Kudos is here. Let's just let them relax, they can just roll up the mountain, stay some empty for the sprint status. Hopefully they can get some stage wins there. So let has pretty much done his now. Now it's up to Liberati. Uh, young, it's, it's actually the third best climber in the entire team, this guy, so... It's a pretty strong team. I don't know, he's only 71, but he's like 19 years old or something like that. So it's still really strong. Now, of course, we're seeing Kurus right here. Kurus still hasn't lost any energy yet. 
a great sign. I think it's Duarte sitting in the Colombian jersey just behind. Yeah. Yeah, Christian Gershansen, Denifel for um, Austria. Uh, movie star has Fernandez. I'm thinking, should I use? Should I use him now? Up to really create some damage, or should I just let him relax here with uh, Kudos until we reach the end of the climb and then make a move from there and just attack with Kudos and hopefully he's strong enough to win? I don't really know what strategy I should go with right here. I think Liberati is done now. He's been working all day anyway. I just set the two first fighters I, I saw up in front, so I didn't really look at the stats this time. I usually do. Is that an attack from Trusov? Kimler can just get a little sprint going here. It's not the, it's not the steepest part right now, so maybe he can... Uh, yeah. You can see this, that hurt some of the riders in the peloton a lot, I think. I'm thinking about attacking now. Because the peloton just slowed down again after accelerating to uh, catch Kemner because of acceleration. I'm sorry, but my mouse is just really stupid at the moment. It keeps on disconnecting. My mud, it's my motherboard's fault. And I, I need to record this episode before I take it open and really work on it. So I think I'm going to attack with him now here. And I need to drop Kemner then. Let me see my taxi as well. Not yet, no one countering actually. And now, let's put him at 60, 60, 60, 60 or 65. Can he handle 65 to the top? I think it's a bit risky to do so. Put him here at 67 here to begin with. And... Is that Duarte's team? Yeah, Duarte's team has set himself up front now. Where is Kudos here? Nine man group behind now, trying to get up to Hinao. They don't want to let him get away, he's too strong of a rider. They have realized that Samiento is the one uh, set to close the gap for Duarte. Also, a great climber, almost as good as Hinao. So, question is to do a counter attack once we, hit, once we get up to them here. So, now Hinao has been caught. So this is the time for Kudos to attack. This is the well-known one-two attack. I wanted to attack on the right side, but of course I can't get past any of these riders. We have them trying to close the gap again. It's once again the two Colombian riders trying to go, and they do both attack. I don't really know what's happening down here. Duarte seems to actually be struggling to follow his own teammate Samiento. And now we'll put him now at 70 as well. So we have both riders just riding their own pace. Let's see who's the strongest of my two captains here. I think still Kudos will take this win. I think he's stronger than Duarte and Samiento here. I'm more excited to see if he now can actually overtake some of these Colombian riders. Or if he, if, or if he will just take fourth or even drop down and be overtaken by some riders behind him here. Kudos has been actually caught by Duarte. Uh, Samien does get dropped and Duarte gets dropped as well here. Kudos can ride away safely now. I think Duarte is dead. And now it doesn't seem that strong either though. Kudos seems to be the strongest of them all. I don't think there's any doubt that he will win this stage. And now we'll take Samien too. Can he overtake Duarte as well? And move all the way to the right. So Duarte can't just sit on his wheel. Duarte tries to move over, but he's not able to sit on the wheel of, of Hinao. Two Colombian riders here, Hinao goes down 65. I think that's actually a good move for me. Put him down 70 as well, just to ensure that he doesn't die out here to finish. Actually, I'll just these riders here. They shouldn't use that much energy right now. They'll just die out so quickly. Yeah, down to 50 with these riders. And now it's almost dead as well. Kudos looks like the prime candidate for winning this stage. Denifel is actually overtaking Duarte as well. But it doesn't seem like he's able to catch up with Duarte. Eh, well, not Duarte, he now. He looks to be taking his first win. And not his first win, his our first 1-2 win. We have done a 1-2-3 win before. 
but we haven't done a 1 2 win, so this is actually a new thing. Uh, what is mine? Okay, we'll just do it like this then. Hey! Can I, can I celebrate already now? Could have still had a lot of energy left as well as we reach the finish line. But a 1 2 finish, and who actually made it up to the third group as well? Oh, this is just my riders. I think it was uh, Denifer and then like Duarte. And let's see who comes in third, fourth, and fifth here. Denifer, Cano from Colombia. Three Colombian riders in the uh, top six. And it, uh, four, four actually, but three from the Colombian team. And of course, all of our riders used the energy up really early on on the climb. And this is a long climb, so it's gonna take quite a while before anybody else gets over the fence line. Let's move on to the next mountain stage and see. We have already done our sponsor objective, so let's get, let's just see if we can win overall now. Okay, stage two. News of the transfer market, of course. Uh, we had the Australian time trial guy decided to go with our Aquinas instead. Have looked at replacements for him, but there's not really anybody who's in, in our, our wage budget who's good enough to go on our team. So I don't think we'll have a good time trial right next year as well. Other than that, looking at the standards, of course, we have 1-1-1-1-1, 2-2-2-2-2-2. Expecting that to be the same after this stage, which is another mountain stage. Hopefully we can see something great happen again like last time. Okay, so last 12 comments right now. Just said the sprinters to go back. Actually, Marco Hylas just got in some battles on the front battles. So we're putting on 99 here on the flat section before we go up Kitzbühel Horn. One of the most famous climb in Austria. Just look at how steep it is. So many black sections almost. Yeah, it's more black than any other color, just by looking at it. So this could be insanely fun to drive. Marco Hala has to go, has to make us go in on the time on a high speed as well. So everybody is really tired once we even hit the climb. This is going to be a crazy already. Actually, he just dropped them all because that's what Marco Hala does. He doesn't care. Uh, let's see, put it on 70 and let's see how Marco Hala, the climber, can do. These two riders have done their work now. Let's see what other kind of teams actually want to set up themselves up in front. I have a breakaway for eight riders about four minutes ahead, but I haven't really looked at it. Don't think any of them is a overall flip to the classification since I am around four or five minutes ahead of everybody. Yeah, ten minutes ahead. None of these riders are going to take tours from me anyway. So no real rows for me here. And now it's right here where is Kudos, he's sitting just a bit further back. Would like them to move a bit further up front now. As we head into the climb, it is nice to be in the front riders. Marco Heller starts the climb with a 1 minute lead. Our uh, great climber with 57 in stats. Absolutely amazing. You will surely take this win. It's almost caught up with some of the riders from the breakaway group already. Who start attacking? I think that's... Is that Stef Stefan Denifel? Who I think is in third right now. Yeah, it is Denifel. And he's of course the best rider apart from my two specialists right here. Uh, I put them both on 75. Kim and Danese can protect them for as long as they can handle that. I, I doubt that will be for very long. You already see some riders trying to follow and struggle to. And uh, this is pretty much the start of the climb. Marco Hala has done his job, which he pretty much didn't do anything at all. Danese is still protecting him now really nicely, but I think he's done now. Marco Hala has been caught up. Paul Marco Hala did a great job, but managed to win at the end. Uh, that, that is uh, Fernandez and Dominic can't remember what his first name is, Fernandez, R. Fernandez. Okay, Mendes. Sørensen from Tinker Saxo. Haven't really seen Duarte yet. He's sitting down here. Not his teammate either. They had three riders in top six last time. We haven't seen any of them yet now. That's a bit of disappointment from their team, in my eyes at least. And now going into their own tempo. You will probably catch Nats. Yeah, Nats has been is dropped now. Kudos has caught up with the level. Four kilometers to go still. I don't know if I can put it up to 80. I think I can. I want to put it up to 80 here. Good says overtaking the different again. He has Fernandez in his wheel. Uh, but he isn't actually following up. 
Let's build two riders out in front. Kumin and Barta. Two strong riders, both of them, but they will take their, their state dream win, will be ruined when uh, Kudos and Fernandez is going to overtake them here. Fernandez is struggling to follow right now. It seems like he's really uh, rocking in his seat at the moment. And now he's overtaking the needle as well now. Okay, I did drop Fernandez finally. Okay, he hasn't dropped uh, Stefan Denif. I don't know how to pronounce that name, but it's I'm just guessing that's how it pronounced. Almost up to Fernandez. Kudos will take his second win in a row. Just take a nice energy gel as a reward for his performance. He now seems to drop Denif here. And he will probably close the gap to Fernandez here. Almost, I think they're almost at the same time, but it's over two minutes behind Kudos. Once again, big time gaps here in the climb. All of these riders did a great job today, especially the Barati uh, Let's see if we can uh, get some places in the overall standings here by putting them on 85. Panese seems to be really strong. Actually, creates quite a big gap here in the Barati as well. Panese managed to overtake this group here as well. So, just for fun's sake. Who do we have? We have Ben Kuka. Let's see. Put him on a, on a sprint here. He's a bit stuck here. But still a great sprinter. Can he make it up to the second group here as well? Yeah, he can. Just creates a bit of a few settings to play card. So important for the overall classification right here. <laughs> but for now, let's get to the. I don't think there's any more mount stages. Maybe there's one more on that. We only do the mount stages if there's one more or maybe a time trial. Let's check it out. Okay, it's actually been a week now since the mount stage. In the end, I ended up winning two stages more playing card and sprints. They didn't race any of them. It's all simulated. Find stages and one as well here, as you can see. Uh, Kudos took the first place pretty convincingly. He now had a bad spell in the middle of the race on the two hill stage and the time trial. He hit a spell of sickness, so he ended up dropping out from his second place, being overtaken by uh, Stefan Denifel and Ruben Fernandez, and dropped down to fourth place. Still had a nice result and gives him some points as well for the for the GC or for the continental rankings as well, both for first and fourth and all of these stage wins that he managed to get overall. So a nice race overall. Trying for news, didn't see much happening at all. Uh, they still just say they're just waiting. They just want to see any other offers. I don't know. This is the first career mode I have actually played in Pro Cycling Manor 2015. So we have reached the transfer market. So it's a bit, it's a bit new for me, all of this. I don't know how long they say it for. They just say it for forever. Or they'll finally sign with me at some point. Next up, I think it's either, either the Tour of Denmark or the Vattenfall Side Classics. I think that's some of my objectives but for now this is it for this video if you enjoyed it leave a comment and a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already i post a lot of different series of pro cycling media and i will continue to do so in the future see you guys next time goodbye